Catholic school is filing a groundbreaking federal lawsuit about religious freedom. The leaders for the school in South Euclid say they're suing the city over anti-discrimination a law there. Jesse Schultz is here in the newsroom to explain this to us. Well, the law in question here was passed in April of last year. The bottom line, it forbids the denial of rights based on sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression in South Euclid. But the Lyceum, a Catholic school in the city, says this law violates the First Amendment, and it's suing the city. School leaders are calling it an incredibly broad law that is, quote, devastating to Christian ministries. They say it forces Christians to bend their beliefs and are concerned about what it means when it comes to hiring at the school. If the city does find discrimination based on any of the factors in the law, employers can face penalties or have their licenses taken away. I found it does protect religious organizations like churches to hire people they feel are qualified for positions, but it doesn't carry the same protection for schools hiring teachers, which the Lyceum takes issue with. School and religious leaders within the city believe this lawsuit will go all the way to the Supreme Court and set a precedent for other cities throughout the country that have passed similar anti-discrimination nation laws. South Euclid is one of about 20 other cities in Ohio to have an anti-discrimination law. Terrence. Jesse Tomer now 6 30.